Well, hello there, all you gorgeous creatures of the internet, and welcome back to my F1 2018 career, part 27. Oh no, sorry, that's just everyone else sponging for views. Welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 2013, and we move on to Great Britain! Welcome to Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix. And yes, indeedy, Mr. McGreedy, as you can see, after our first run, we're currently in eighth position. Oh my goodness, only almost five seconds off the lead. Anyway, we accelerate forward now to just two and a half minutes left of the qualifying. And um, shit, we're in l last. And we're now five, nearly five and a half. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway. Last place for the hookster, 18th for Jules Bianchi at our home race at Silverstone. Sebastian Vettel got pole. Oh, shitty bollocks. Let's just get on with it. So once again, it's time for the five lights to go out on the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think I'm going to shit out another F1 2018 career mode episode. Oh, and out it comes. And away we go from last place on the grid. As you can see, already up to 21st. Yes, the awesomeness of 21st as we go into the first turn at Silverstone. And oh my goodness, it's going to be a cluster as it always is. I got past Maldonado, the greatest F1 driver in history ever. And we go for a dive. We know we're going to go for a dive because it's the hookster. And we're already happy to 11th place. I think we're okay on the Rigsby scale. I don't think there was too much collisions there. As you can see, already happy to the points now. I'll be to the points. I'll be to ninth place just behind Felipe Massa, baby. Oh my goodness, these cars are going very, very slow on the first lap. As you can see, I managed to get past a huge amount of cars. Now I'll be to seventh place behind. Mark Webber, Mark Webber, multi twin. Oh no, I've gone straight to the back of Lulu, straight to the back of Lewis Hamilton, in of course the Mercedes. But I have now made it up into sixth position. Didn't quite manage to pull that move off, trying to get past Hamilton, but up into sixth place now, as we're just about to go through the maggots and Beckett section. Oh my goodness, what's the car doing behind me? He's weaving all over the place. Someone call Charlie White and kill him, Charlie, kill him! Anyway, so just going through the Maggots and Beckett section now, as you can see, of the glorious Silverstone circuit. It's getting very, very close behind, as you can see. I'm trying to catch up to the car and follow the course, which is Lulu, and he's in a Mercedes, and I'm in a complete potato. Yes, a complete potato in our Mauritia, which happens to be the slowest car in the field. Yes, the slowest car in the field is our Mauritia. Anyway, there's an old saying that we use around here that you may have heard before, and it goes something like this that Dave never gives up and he never surrenders, don't you know, don't you know. So holding on now to sixth position in our potato cars, we're about to complete lap one of this glorious Silverstone circuit. Well, it was glorious before they completely fucked it up. But anyway, oh my goodness, I've got a red ball now. Right up me, Jack Jones, right up me, Jack Jones. I'm trying to get past, but we're holding on. Of course, it is Mark Webber, Mark Webber in his multi-21. But we are still holding station in sixth place. We've got no chance, unfortunately, of catching Lulu. Lewis Hamilton, the blessed one, in a Mercedes because he's just too damn fast. As we so he fall down to lap two, still in sixth place. But I'm under real pressure now from Mark Webber. As you can see from the mirror on the left-hand corner, as I just zoom in there, got a huge amount of cars trying to get past. Three cars now trying to get past. They're all jostling with each other. But one manages to get past me, and it is Felipe Massa, baby, in a Ferrari. Well, we're going to dive down inside and see if we can get the place back, do we? Oh, very, very tight. Very, very tight indeed. And yes, we hang on at the moment to sixth place. For God's sake. Anyway, we accelerate forward out of lap three. As you can see now, Felipe Massa, baby, has once again got past me. Uh, I think that may have been under DRS. I can't quite bloody remember, to be honest. But once again, the hookster dives down the inside. There's contact with Felipe Massa. And we managed to retake the position, so back into sixth place now. We're behind Kimi Raikkonen, the Iceman himself, and ahead now of Felipe Massa as we accelerate forward now. Stood on that four and under pressure this time from Massa once again. He goes around the outside this time, but we're going to hug it tight as there's contact with Massa. And we go very, very wide. We go very, very wide indeed. Can we gather it back up? And the answer that is yes, we do gather it back up. So we're holding on now to our sixth position on lap four out of 13 as we accelerate forward now to lap 5 
And once again, there's a car going man outside of the DRS. This time it's a false into here and it's Paul the Resto and we're banging wheels. He goes way out into the outfield section there. But once again, Dave uses his superior intellect and skill and man did I say that out loud? <laughs> and manages to get the position back into sixth place. Okay, still on lap six, as you can see, and still holding on as we go a little bit further into lap six, just going to lap seven, and still holding on to sixth position. Lewis Hamilton is currently in the lead of this race. Kimi Raikkonen is ahead in fifth position, 22 seconds ahead of my potato. Yes, 22 seconds. Yes, the field spread in this game is pretty vast, I have to say, between the performances of the cars. As we accelerate forward now to lap seven, and it's time for the Hookstad to make his pit stop. We come in to the Silverstone pit entry and it's very, very slow, of course, for Silverstone. Our speed is right down to 58, is that KPH or miles an hour? I don't bloody well know, I don't bloody well care to be honest. And oh my goodness, incredible scenes, the skid marks have disappeared as we come into the pits. They're disappearing. Well, I wish that would happen in real life because despite the detergent that I use, I just can't get rid of them. I just cannot get rid of them. Anyway, we change now from the soft tyre. <laughs> to the hard tyre, which I do believe is the orangey coloured tyre, yes. So we're on the hard tyre now and we're going to rejoin, oh my goodness, we're we going to rejoin in 8th position. Are we going to, oh no it's ninth. oh no, no it's 10th, and it's 11th, oh for God's sake. So we rejoin now in 11th position, stuck behind the greatest F1 driver in the history of the world ever, Pasta Maldonado. As we accelerate forward now to lap 10, still no change and I can't catch up to the back of Pasta. So we're going through Maggots and Beckett's. I've got a car right up me, Jack Jones, as well. But no, I cannot make any inroads into Pastor Maldonado. As you can see from the minimap, he is away and gone. He's already just approaching the end of the hangar straight and going around the corner there. And I'm still trying to catch him. As we accelerate forward out of lap 13 of this Grand Prix. And I've got Mark Webber once again trying to go down the inside of me. But once again, I can defend the line and hold on to... It's 12, is it? No, it's 11th place now. Sebastian Vettel has already crossed the line and won the race. And we're about to cross the line in 11th place. Just one place out of the points. Bloody disappointing, but what can you do? The hookster's still happy though. Look at that. He's waving his fist everywhere. Look. Fantastic. Because our objective was only 18th place. So yes, it was good for the hookster. In the potato. So there's the final results in 11th place for the hookster. And Jules Bianchi finished in 19th position. Now, of course, the winner of the race was Sebastian Vettel with Fernando Alonso in second place with Nico Rosberg in third. So in the Drivers' Championship now, we're in 12th position with 18 points. Sebastian Vettel is in the lead with 149 and Jules Bianchi still has no points on the board, as you can see. So on to the Constructors' Championship now and we're currently in 7th position with our 18 points. Mercedes in the lead with 2 125 points infinity red bull racing in second place with 217 points so on to the next grand prix now and it's time for the german grand prix which i do believe is in germany yes indeedy mr mcgreedy as you can see we're going out once again onto the first qualifying session nico rosberg's got a 132 and we're going to cross a lot and it's 5.1 seconds behind currently in 10th place though so it's not going to be all bad is it and as I say that, it's business as usual with just two and a half minutes left. We're currently 20th place on the grid and we're going to cross the line now. Oh, bloody hell. 19th position for the race, I do believe. And in fact, we finished in 18th place just ahead of our teammate Jules Bianchi. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. And Paul went to Sebastian Vettel with Nico in second and Fernando in third place. Let's get on with the race then. As we get into our glorious cockpit. Oh, oh, shitty bollocks. No, it's pissing down with rain. I don't believe it. We've got full wet tyres on. Oh, for cock's sake. So once again, it's time for the five lights to go out on the... <gasps> There's another F1 2018 career mode coming out. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, oh. 
And it's away we go from 18th position on the grid. We've got George Bianchi behind us in 19th place. And look at the spray. Just look at the spray. It's going all over me. I hate getting wet. I really do. Anyway, we dive down the inside to turn one. Oh, my goodness. And Perez has clipped over the curb, as you can see. And I went straight to the back of him. But we're holding on at the moment. Oh, no. A couple of cars have got past us as we go into turn two. And we're battling with a Williams. We've actually made contact with the Williams and sort of... Oh, no. Straight to the back of Kimi Räikkönen and now the ice band but we sort of creep down the inside of both the cars let's see if we can get past the salvo as well yes we can up into eighth position now for the hookster unbelievable seeds unbelievable in the full wet conditions and we're driving a potato which as you know if your potato gets wet well it goes bloody soggy doesn't it but no not this one this one is holding on magnificently as we try to catch up to the back of a ferrari that's got fernando alonso at the wheel yeah, I don't think that's going to be possible, is it, really? But we are doing bloody well, of course. In the wet conditions, and especially as we are on full wet tyres, then this actually negates some of the speed advantage that some of the other cars have got, of course. So it's purely just down to the fact of managing to hang on without binning it off into the gravel. And that's exactly what we're doing at the moment, as we're hanging on. Still in 8th position ahead of Pastor Maldonado, the greatest F1 driver, of course, in the history of the world ever. And we're just about to complete lap one now and it's very very treacherous conditions of course on these full wet tires the cars ahead are not pulling away as they have been doing in previous episodes as you can see from the mini map we're all pretty close together of course fernando is pulling away because he's in a ferrari and i'm in a potato but there is not the uh, supreme pulling away that i've seen in previous episodes where they've been miles ahead of me sometimes up to 45 seconds in front as we accelerate forward now to lap two you can see we're still in eighth position Nico Rosberg is currently in the lead of this Grand Prix as we accelerate forward at lap four and I'm getting jostled from behind from the cars it's Sergio Perez who is trying to steal this eighth position from me in the McLaren of course oh my goodness but we're holding on still desperately holding on on lap five to our eighth place Hamilton is now in the lead of this Grand Prix as we now accelerate forward to lap seven Still in 8th position for Dokster, but it's time now to come in for our pit stop because unlike F1 2012, when the wet tyres could last the whole Grand Prix distance in F1 2013, of course with the softer compounds, that's not going to be the case. So even on full wet tyres on a 25% race, we've got to come in and make a pit stop. And of course that will be from the fully wet tyres onto the fully wet tyres once again because it's still absolutely chucking it down. So the lads change our wets onto a fresh set of wets and we're now going to rejoin the field I think in about 13th place. Yes, 13th position for the hookster on lap 8 but are we going to get back into the points? This is going to be the sort of races where we can take advantage the wet condition races where they haven't got the speed advantage so let's hope that I manage to get up into the points again as we're just about to come round the corner now going into lap 9 and still in 13th but there's a lot of cars coming to the pit as you can see from the mini map and I'm now going to make it up into 11th, 9th, 8th place yes I'm in the points on lap 9 unbelievable Hamilton still in the lead off this race but yes we've got back into 8th place which is where we were before we come in for our pit stop as we accelerate forward out of lap 10 but Kimi Räikkönen is now desperately trying to get past me and just look at the mini map just look how many cars are bunched up right behind me as I absolutely cock up the chicane completely oh my goodness this is going to give Kimi Raikkonen the opportunity to try and dive down the inside while I go for blocking move of course you are allowed one blocking move in Formula 1 and I managed to hold on at the moment to my position of 8th place as Kimi Raikkonen is still desperately trying to get past me on lap 11 out of 15 Nico Rosberg is now in the lead of this uh, Grand Prix Roman Grosjean is 33 seconds ahead up the road in seventh place as we accelerate forward at lap 13 and once again i've got cars trying to get past me unbelievable sergio perez once again is trying to get past as we go through this final chicane before the last right hander going to the start and finish line but i'm still holding on as we accelerate forward out of the last lap of the race still in eighth position for the hook stats. so it looks like we could be on for some points oh my goodness my excitement level has almost reached a half on the last lap of the race, still holding on behind Roman Grosjean, or should I say quite a way behind Roman Grosjean, as we accelerate forward now to almost the end of the race. Nico Rosberg, oh, I cocked up the chicane once again. 
Nico Rosberg has now won the race and we are going to cross the finish line in eighth position. It's going to be a fantastic performance for the hookster in his complete potato car as we cross the line. Can we get ahead of Hulkenberg? Yes, we can. And he's well happy with that. Look at that. Yes, says the hookster. That's an excellent result in our potato there. Absolutely fantastic. Eighth position. Points in a Marussia. Four points, in fact. Wow, says. And Nico Rosberg won the race with Lulu in second, Sebastian Vettel in third position. So in the Drivers' Championship now, you can see we're now in 12th position with 22 World Championship points. Sebastian Vettel is in the lead now with 164. Nico Rosberg in second with 140. And in third place, it's Fernando Alonso. And now onto the constructors. Mercedes are in the lead at the moment with 268 points, with Red Bull Racing in second place with 244. And we're in seventh place with our 22 World Championship points. Wowzers. Okay, once again, thanks so much for watching, everyone. You've all been as awesome as you always are. Good luck with the F1 2018 career mode episodes. And once again, as always, we will be back on Sunday with some more All Seasons career.